based upon uh, today's meeting that Ijafor had with Mazi Namdi Kanu, I am his international lawyer and international spokesperson. And I will be pursuing all international diplomatic and political platforms uh, to see that justice is done, that fundamental norms of law are complied with. Uh, among other institutions I plan to visit, there's an international working group on arbitrary detention that sits in Geneva. It's an arm of the United Nations Human Rights Council. There's the International Court of Justice, the International Criminal Court that entertains accusations of crimes against humanity, uh, violating the Genocide Convention. There's also the United Nations Security Council, which you may recall has established separate courts in instances where it's thought necessary because domestic courts are insufficient to prosecute cases of genocide or crimes against humanity. Most recently, you may recall, the special court established to try Serbian leader Slobodan Milosevic for genocide, amongst other Serbs, relating to the Serbian war. Uh, we will also be approaching the United States Congress, which obviously has an interest in Nigeria. It's the most populous and perhaps the wealthiest country, potentially, in all of Africa. Uh, and it will be of major concern of the Congress of the United States that there be stable rule of law here. Uh, democracy can flourish and that religious tolerance is accepted. You know that recently it was recommended that uh, Nigeria be placed on the highest tier of concern by the International Commission on International Religious Freedom because of the seeming persecution of those of Christian affiliation, which includes a large majority of the Afrins. So we intend to pursue all of these legitimate platforms in the international community to make it clear that anything that transpires regarding the Namdi Kanu case will be fully in the sunshine. It will not be clouded. 